When you ask her to go, she's so powerful. My name is Alyssa, and I'm on a quest to ride every breed. The Danish Warmblood is a noble and elegant sport horse from Denmark. The association was founded in 1962 and today contains over 32,000 mares with two to 3,000 foals being registered each year. We're heading to a riding center about an hour southwest of Copenhagen where we will be meeting my next quest horse and I'll get a chance to try out a discipline that has been a part of the Olympic Games since the year 1900. We have around 50 horses here. We have a riding school and uh, we train and show mostly Danish Wombat houses. We have uh, riding for handicapped people as well. All the stuff you can have on a riding center. Have you been around horses your whole life? Yeah. Yeah. I think I was uh, starting at the riding school when I was three years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And uh, I've been riding ever since. Wow. Yeah. And now my, my son is uh, three years old old also, and uh, he's also starting to, to ride. Yeah, I just always have the, the interest for horses and it never bores me. <laughs> yeah, so I can use my whole day, uh, every day on horses. You always have to, to learn and get wiser when you work with horses, so I like that. I feel that, that I get smarter every day and wiser. This is uh, Pauline, Pauline or Pauline. Depends on which language you're speaking. Okay. <laughs> the, she's a Danish warm blood uh, silver medal mare. She is uh, seven years old and she is uh, bred by myself. I also have her mother and five siblings to her. She wasn't born by her real mother. She was made by em Emperor Transfer. Wow. Yeah. Because I was riding her mother okay. in the sport. And uh, then we tried to, to get a foal. We got two, so okay. she's got a, a full sister from the same year. So she's quite a special horse. She's jumping one meter and 30 classes now, and I hope we can go to one meter and 40 this year. I bought uh, her mother when she was four. She's 21 now. Aww. Yeah, she was such a good horse. I found it really interesting to to, to keep the bloodlines and uh, yeah, to see if we could get more like her. I think what is uh, special about the warm blood horses today is that the breeders really think about what they are doing. Mm -hmm. You can count on that you get the quality horses. If you want a nice dressage horse, then you can be sure that the Danish breeders have uh, put the right, uh, has made the right combinations for it. And the same in show jumping. She has such a big walk. Yes, yes. <laughs> you look good on her. She feels really nice. It's really important when you do show jumping that the horses uh, are reacting. When you tell them to go forward, then they go forward. And when you tell them to come back, then, then they come back. And you can go across and do a change. Just go a bit more forward. Yeah. Good. So you can stay here and you can have your legs a bit, you know, your knees a bit open here. Okay. Because you're sitting in a show jumping saddle. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you see, it's, it's made for the legs to stay here. Okay. And for you to open here. So when you go to the jumps later, then your legs stay here and then you have the knees to, to help you get up. Okay. So you don't get your knees in here, don't but you. Here. So yeah, open. but you get up there, yeah. Okay. Because if you do too much uh, pressure with your knees, then your lower leg will do like this. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so. then if something happens, then when your leg goes behind, <laughs> then your upper body goes. <laughs> When you ask her to go, she like she's so powerful. So now I will uh, prepare a little jump. Okie dokie. So you go in trot first and make a cross like, like this. So then you just have to go in the trot okay. from down there. Just go straight on 
and then jump this and go canter down to the corner. And remember to, to be a little out in the knees and then just follow when she goes off. Okay. And we would just take this size and then you try like this and then I will make another one. Good. There you need to get up a bit before. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more of the saddle. A bit shorter reins and your hands a bit up. Yes, exactly. That was the right speed. Yeah, okay. Like you said, there's so much to learn. <laughs> yeah, there is every day. You want to do a bit higher? <laughs> Stay up in your upper body. Stay up. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> good. Okay, do it one more time. All right. A bit more straight. Yes. <laughs> Straight, 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 straight. Good. Good girl. <laughs> so now this is a wider jump. Okay. So here it's really important to keep the pace. Okay. Going forward. Okay. And a bit up with your up body. Yeah. Good. <laughs> What an amazing sport. You know, I've ridden horses my whole life, but like just how each discipline is so unique. There's such expertise in each of these disciplines. And that's how it's so neat to see as well the, the specifics of the breed. I mean, these guys are bred to be able to do this. And yeah. she makes, I'm like, you know, learning all this stuff yeah. and she makes it seem so easy. I'm addicted yeah, you now. you did good. <laughs> Thank you. So you need to be a bit uh, brave to, to just do jumps like this. It's so cool that you're running, you know, this riding center because you're able to help so many riders yeah. grow yeah. as equestrians. And I feel like that's so important in our horse world. Thank you for the work you're doing. Yeah, you're welcome. Good girl. And thank you for your work too. Mm -hmm. Representing the incredible Danish warm blood. I love that feeling. That feeling when you're in the air and it's, it's so much faster than I thought. You're flying along towards that jump and there's just this moment where you're like in the air and it's just this amazing feeling. I've known that I've loved jumping. I wanted to be a jumper when I was little and it's been a dream that I hadn't quite accomplished, but yet again, because of the quest, I'm able to learn about these breeds and people are sharing their horses with me in such incredible ways. Here at the Riding Center, it's actually a place where people of all levels can come and take riding lessons and learn about horses. So if anyone is in Denmark looking for amazing instructors, I will leave a link in the description below for you to check these guys out. Thank you all so much for riding along with me. Please subscribe to the channel so you can keep learning more about the amazing things that horses do for us. And I'll see you all at the next breed. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> horses are an interesting opportunity for a family to be able to do something that everyone can be involved yeah. in.